a fallacy is, is something that doesn't follow. So all fallacies are non sequiturs. Mm. Now, there's many different ways that we can err in reasoning in which things don't follow. And you can name those. And typically in logic, you have the distinction between what's called formal fallacies and informal or fallacies of relevance. Now, a formal fallacy involves an error in the form or arrangement of the actual argument or syllogism itself. Mm. So that's why, so for example, there's things like, uh, there are uh, affirming the consequent, uh, denying the consequent. Um, there's some disjunctive fallacy, formal fallacies, undistributed middle is uh, another fallacy. And again, all of that has to do with the kind of formal structure of your syllogism. Mm -hmm. And we could go back over and I could give some examples of that. So but, those include propositional quantification yeah. and then the formal syllogistic. So, yeah. Um, so for example, let's say we, uh, a deductive argument, a valid deductive argument is one in which if the premises are true, the conclusion has to follow. Now, why? Well, it's because the way those terms, right? Whether, so you have the subject and the first premise, the subject and a middle term, and then the predicate in the middle term. So that the way that those are arranged, logically the, they connect. If you plugged in the right content, so it's like the formula is correct. That's what valid, the form and structure is good. So if you just put the good stuff in, you're going to get the good stuff out. <laughs> but there's ways that what happens if you mess up on the structure of it. Right. So it's not a good form. Well, then you can have a formal fallacy. Right. Um, so let me give you an example of, let's see, like a, a conditional, right? Um, if P, then Q. So... If it's raining outside, then I'm going to carry an umbrella or something like that. Then I affirm the antecedent. It's raining outside. Therefore, I'm carrying an umbrella. That's a modus ponens. There's nothing wrong with that. But watch what if I did like this. Um, if it's raining outside, I'm carrying an umbrella. I'm carrying an umbrella. Therefore, it's raining outside. That's actually called a formal fallacy of affirming the consequent that doesn't follow right so something yeah that you actually so if i put the first premise if p then q mm -hmm. second premise q therefore p well that's a non sequitur it doesn't follow well why doesn't it follow it doesn't follow because they're not actually logically connected you structured them wrong. So that would be an example of like a formal fallacy. I see. And you can also have denying the antecedent. So um, when it's not raining, then the road is not slippery. Um, it's like the inverse of, or if I, let's, let's say I'm not carrying an umbrella, therefore, it's not raining. Hmm. That's th that doesn't follow. Right. Okay, so that'd be denying the antecedent. Well, oh, here's one. Mm -hmm. Undistributed middle. All cats are animals. Premise one. True. Premise two. Lion is an animal. Lion. Therefore, lion is a cat. Um, that would be um, an example of cats and animals. So the middle terms like switched out. And that would be valid, but not very sound. So let's do an undistributed middle. Um, this is funny. It's called sometimes called the politician, politician syllogism. Um, I guess it goes back. This uh, goes back to there was a British TV show on BBC called Yes, Prime Minister. Um, we must do something. This is something. Therefore, we must do this. <laughs> is another. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other examples. So I just want to give you like, like obviously the various problems with um, those are 
formal or structural problems. And then we could talk about like, well, what the heck is an informal fallacy? Yeah, go ahead. Like, don't let me just keep going on. No, if you no, have any that's, questions, that's just what, stop. Go right ahead into the, the informality <clears throat> of the fallacies. Because I was going to ask you then, once you explain the inform, informal fallacy is, what do you think is most, do most po people fall victim to? Because it seemed like the informal, there's a lot more Oh yeah, it's always info it's almost always informal. Okay. Yeah. Um, and less so. Oftentimes, what you have to do, and what's good about logic, is that you translate ordinary passages into their logical form. So most people aren't actually going and structuring like, uh, like a syllogism, mm -hmm. like when they're presenting arguments. You're reading editorials. You're watching the TV. And it's your job to basically condense that and be like, what would the premises be? What are the implicit premises in there and what's the conclusion? And as I teach, like, there's conclusion indicator words, um, premise indicator words and stuff like that. And then you have to form that into a syllogism and then identify, like, is it valid? Is it uh, sound, which means that it's good structure and all the premises are true. Is it invalid? Right? It's an incorrect logical form. Um, you know, what type of fallacy are they committing or something like By the way, here's another good one, uh, formal fallacy. All bullfights are grotesque rituals. All executions are grotesque rituals. Therefore, all bullfights are executions. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. So it's actually, if I, now notice... You'll kind of get this with vegans, right? They'll they'll tend to actually do these sorts of arguments. Mm. So that's why um, perhaps they don't actually put it in a syllogism, but you're hearing something you're saying, and you would repeat back to them. So okay, this is your premise here. You know, all bullfights are grotesque rituals. All and you're saying all executions are grotesque rituals. Therefore, all bullfights are executions. Like, is that? something like that right. um but for the most part you're going to come across with uh informal fallacies so maybe we should talk about those so if the so then if the informal so the formal fallacy is the way in which the syllogism is set up yeah it's the, incorrect what's the, the structure what, what's the basis of the informal fallacy the informal fallacy is called fallacies of relevance um and they don't have so much to do with the logical structure that's being presented, but they're, it's just, they have premises, of course, and they have a conclusion, but the premises are not actually logically relevant to the conclusion. Mm. That's why I say it doesn't follow. Right. There's no kind of logical connection. There's no necessity or something like that. Um, or it's just simply a downright like error that like because that's what people are trying to do. What is a premise? A premise is a statement um, or a sentence that's offering support for a conclusion. Um, <clears throat> and the conclusion is the thing that's being purported to follow from what supports it. Mm. So what happens when people's proposed support has no bearing on the conclusion. It, it doesn't support it. It doesn't follow. There's no logical connection there whatsoever. Then you've done uh, what's called fallacy of relevance or uh, informal fallacy.